a short video today that I think will be very helpful for a lot of people. It's entitled, Why I Don't Spend a Lot of Unnecessary Money on Gear That I Really Don't Need. We got this comment on the podcast on Tuesday uh, that this guy was a little bent out of shape. He was just kind of saying, shut up, stop talking about how expensive stuff is, buy it, it's good forever, you make a lot of money per year. His math's a little bit wrong on that. And I couldn't summarize everything into the comment box, so I'm going to make an entire video about it because I think that it is a very important thing that not a lot of photographers talk about. So the specific incident in reference is I believe me talking about the fact that I have the um, 24 millimeter 1.8, which is what I'm recording on my Nikon here, rather than spending a thousand extra plus dollars to get the 1.4 version because the optics are a little bit better. There are actually a lot of reasons that I like the 1.8 version better than the 1.4 uh, for the size, the weight, the easy it is to carry when you travel, um, also saving a thousand dollars and you learn the limitations of it pretty quickly and really the only thing is that when you're in certain situations there's a little bit of CA so you have to stop down to like 2.2. So stopping down to 2.2 for a few photos every now and then, much prefer to spending the extra thousand dollars unnecessarily. So here are the two reasons. The two reasons, I'll use the ukulele, uh, travel. I would way rather travel with that thousand dollars, I would way rather go somewhere. Thousand dollars can get you pretty far and especially if you have time flexibility, a thousand dollars can take you to a lot of amazing places for a long period of time. Um, so I would rather spend that money on traveling and doing cool things worth photographing rather than just spending it on gear. When a cheaper tool will do the job just as good if not better. I'm going to insert a little disclaimer here. Um, if you've been following my channel for a while you know that I shoot with a Nikon D5 and I use a lot of other very expensive Nikon products. The reason that I use those is because at the time they served a purpose, they solved a problem that no other technology could solve at that point. For the D5, it was specifically that I wanted to shoot hybrid photo video coverage at weddings as fast as physically possible, and that was the only tool on the market to do it. The Nikon D750, the buffer sucks, and you take a few raw photos, and you have to wait like 10 seconds before you can flip into video mode and start recording. Nikon D5, it was instant. This improved my video game tenfold. I've since switched to the Nikon D850, which solves all of those problems in a smaller, cheaper package. The next reason, which is my hand, not the ukulele, that I don't spend unnecessary money on gear just because I have it and it's available is because I like to save for my retirement. And that is, this might be the most unsexy topic that's ever been discussed in the history of photography, um, but it's something that I've been very passionate about. I'm very fortunate that my parents kind of forced me into it when I was like 15 years old and they made me start retiring at a very young age, putting like half of my paycheck away at that time, which I thought was insane. Now I'm seeing the benefits of it and I'm super excited and I'm not fearful of my retirement. I'm just gonna run a quick calculation over here and I'll pick up right where I left off. All right, I've run the numbers and they look pretty good. Ukulele album, coming summer 17, summer 18. Traveling through time with the ukulele, a common problem. Say you're a 30 year old photographer and you are established enough in business to be able to purchase some things that uh, maybe are a little bit more frivolous. So you're gonna go for that 1.4 rather than getting the 1.8 lens and spending that extra thousand dollars. Here is why I would personally rather save that thousand dollars. Say that opportunity comes up to save like $800 or $1,000 a couple times a year in your professional career, which is totally reasonable as a full-time working professional photographer. So you save $5,000 per year. You put that $5,000 into an investment and say you're making 8% compounded monthly. My investments have been kind of between the 8.5 to 11.5 range for the past bunch of years. So I would say that 8% is a very conservative estimate. Now every year for the next 35 years, you're going to save that same $5,000 and invest that into the same account, 8% compounded monthly. What do you think that that equals when you're 65 years old and you're ready to cash out? You're going to have almost a million dollars in the bank account by that point at 8% compounded monthly. You'll probably also have some real estate investments as well. You're gonna have a very nice retirement just because you planned ahead starting right now. And if you're fortunate enough to get 11% returns over the next 35 years, you're going to have almost $2 million. And if you're a little bit or a lot older than 30 years old, you just have to be more aggressive upfront in order to reap those returns in the future. The power of compounded interest, uh, love, ramen, compounded interest, The the truths to life and living a life of happiness and also just not being stressed out of your mind leading up to retirement or thinking about what you're going to do like can I keep shooting weddings until I'm like 95 years old and if you plan ahead right now that's not going to stress you out in the future so hopefully this video spoke to one person because if I can actually make a difference a significant difference like this and get somebody one of my younger viewers to start investing when they're like 21 22 23 uh, you don't have to do it at five thousand dollars a year but if you are investing just a little bit of money every year um, or even starting earlier like 
you are just going to be so happy when you retire. So hopefully one person goes forward and does this. Um, I'm not like affiliate marketing any uh, like sales channels to like buy investments, things like that. Um, go out, find that on your own. But just start investing for your retirement right now rather than just spending all your money just buying all kinds of stuff. Um, but also like have a balance with buying cool stuff and traveling because uh, I don't know, that's what makes life fun. But first, before anything, I'm always focused on actually saving for my future. And then after that, I figure out how much money I can actually spend on travel and cars and things like that. So thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you got something from this. And I really hope that I did actually speak to one person. And I hope that this makes a huge positive impact in your life um, and your life happiness because as photographers, as self-employed people, we really have no safety net. We have no retirement really. So you have to kind of work for that yourself. And if you start now, you're going to be in good shape in the future. So thanks for watching. Time traveling ukulele album, 2017 in the past. Although it's a bit of a paradox here. You already would have heard the record that I haven't recorded if I'm recording it in 2018 to release in 2017 as a time traveling ukulele person. See you next time.